Prior to the Red Tails over Montgomery Air Show, we realized we had an opportunity to, to do something historic. We put together a legacy flight to honor the memory of the Tuskegee Airmen and to bring visibility and light to not only the sacrifices that they made then, but you know what we're doing now and how those sacrifices have paid their way forward to the future. The idea was to take off and form up over Tuskegee or Moton Field, make several orbits over the field, then come back to Montgomery and do the same as a way of paying tribute to the men and women from the Tuskegee Airmen 332nd Fighter Group. We had Brad Lang flying a Red Tail P-51 Mustang. We had Loco Lopez from the F-22 demo team flying a 301st Fighter Squadron F-22. I was flying the Red Tail F-16 from the 100th Fighter Squadron, so three Tuskegee jets, three black pilots flying a legacy flight over Moton Field and over Montgomery just to honor the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen. This flight was particularly significant to me because my father was a Tuskegee Airman. As we approached Moton Field at low altitude, roughly 3,000 feet, I looked to my left and I saw a major piece in the F-16 Red Tail from the 100th Fighter Squadron. And then I looked on my right and I see Major Lopez and the F-22 Raptor joining. We started our left-hand orbit for the join up and kept on circling over Tuskegee at about 3,000 feet. The skies opened up, the sun was shining, and all I was thinking was, this is a very good day. The men and women at Tuskegee are probably smiling down on us as we pay tribute to their efforts. It was a tremendous honor, and it was a tremendous opportunity, and I'm sure it's something that uh, the Tuskegee Airmen probably never even thought they'd, they'd see or, or to see how much their work and their effort and their sacrifice kind of what it's led to this moment was a, a, a pretty amazing thing. So I was, just, I was honored and proud to be a part of uh, the Legacy Flight.